stick it. We gonna get into some things. Oh, we gonna get into some things. <laughs> so you guys. Rapper Future is accused of providing fraudulent info in child support case, claims he lives in a two-bed, two-bath home in Atlanta and doesn't own any jury. So according to The Shade Room, Eliza Rain is going to get that child support check from Future. He sure as heck is going to make her work for it. As their child support battle continues, um, Eliza's attorney has filed a motion to have Future held in contempt of court for allegedly providing fraudulent info about his finances. Feature is being accused of trying to downplay his lavish lifestyle in court to minimize the amount of child support he'll have to pay Eliza for their one-year-old daughter. According to court docs, Feature testified in court that he stays in a two-bedroom, two-bathroom home in Atlanta and isn't sure if he rents or owns the property as he said he lets his business manager, manager handle all of his business. On top of Feature claiming he doesn't know how much uh, much the home is worth, Eliza's attorney did some digging and says he found out that Feature actually lives in a five-bedroom, seven-and-a-half bath mansion sitting on 1.9 acres of property. According to these docs, Eliza's attorney found through independent investigation that the home was purchased in December 2016 for $2.3 million by Trey On Investments, LLC. Eliza's attorney found that Trey On Investments is a corporation out of Georgia whose CEO just happens to be Future's sister, Tawana Wilburn, and whose CFO is Future's mother, Stephanie Jester. And the contacts person on the lease for the property manager, well, that just happens to be Future's assistant, Felicia Magama, according to Eliza's attorney. But on top of Future allegedly lying about where he lives, Eliza's attorney, Brandon Robert, alleges that Future provided a falsified lease document to the court, which Robert feels is grounds to hold him in contempt. In other instances in which Future has testified, the doc show Future has claimed to own no jury and that he's not making any money off of his music during the pandemic while also claiming he doesn't know the status of his contracts and so you guys um here is a basically snippet of the testimony of future's testimony in court um they basically asked him in the last three months, have you done anything anything to make any money because your lawyer said you did not do concerts? Did you do anything else? Future said no. The lawyer said, so you haven't released any music in the last three months? Future said, you said anything to make money. That don't mean I make money. That was an obligation that was already on the map. The lawyer said, did she release any music in the last three months? Future said, I release music every day. The lawyer said, and did you make money from these music releases? Future said, no. The lawyer said, how do you make money if you don't make money from the music releases? Future's attorney basically objected and the judge overruled. The lawyer also said, so you have the contracts that pay you. Future said, no, I have contracts that I already signed, certain things over too that I didn't get paid every time my music gets played. The lawyer also asked, and who are these contracts with? Future said he didn't know. The judge said, hold on, sir. Are you trying to tell me you don't know who your contracts are with for your music? And Future said, at this time, certain deals could be up, certain deals could be in continuation. The judge said, well, then give us the names of the people that you have them with. And Future replied with Epic. The lawyer said, Epic, anyone else? And Future said, no, that's it. The lawyer also said, okay, and how much does this contract with Epic pay you? Future said he was not sure. The lawyer said, do you have any idea? Can you estimate? And Future replied, I do not know. So, if Future is found to be in contempt of court, Eliza's team is taking, well, is asking for 53000 in monthly child support in addition to attorney fees, as well as a letter of apology and a substantial, a substantial charitable donation to a deserving charity of the court's choosing. So, you guys, Future is really not trying to pay Eliza Rain this 53000 a month, but how can you blame him? I mean, she doesn't need all of that money to be able to take care of a child, um, but some women do feel like they need to be taken care of as well as the child because they're the child's mother. So, I don't blame Future for lying, but he's going to get caught because... 
they're digging up all of his information, especially if he bought a a house for two point three million and his mom and his sister um basically sold him the house and then his assistant is the um leasing agent. It's weird. Um he also provided um fraudulent things about his finances and a fake lease document and handed it into the court. So I don't know about this, guys. It seems like Future has definitely met his match with Eliza Rain. The other baby mamas, um, I guess they weren't as smart as Eliza because they did not take Future for a lot of money, but she's definitely trying to. And I believe at this point she may end up getting fifty three thousand. Um, and if she doesn't get fifty three thousand, maybe she'll get twenty. A lot of people are saying that that baby could be Rich Dollar's baby and not Safari's baby. Um, what do you guys think about that? I want you to leave your comments down in my comment section below. Uh, we shot King Von and two of his people. Uh, social media is active. With uh, They're upset with the police. So if we have any jobs in Parkway, send two cars every time okay and keep your eyes open be wary they're not happy with the police over there for the units in three you copy 399 heads up uh there was a police shooting in atlanta last night and right now they're not happy with the police use caution out so you guys, first off, I want to say um, rest in peace to King Von. Um, I never really listened to his music. Um, a lot of the young guys, I really don't listen to their music. Um, if they make something mainstream and that goes viral, um, I probably would hear it. But as far as me just going to search for these younger rappers and listening to their music, I really don't. But um, yeah, he basically... Um, was killed and shot by Atlanta police early Friday morning. Um, and he did die from the gunshot wounds. Um, according to Atlanta Journal Constitution, a fight broke out between Vine and another um, crew from Quando Rondo's crew outside of a Monaco hookah lounge where gunshots were fired. Two people have been killed, others injured, and Vaughn was brought to the hospital. His family members went on social media claiming that the rapper was in critical condition. And King Vaughn, he was also dating Asia, Asian Debrat. She is also a female rapper. They have been dating for a little while now, and she's very upset over his passing, and she's not doing too well. Um with the whole situation but you guys it is reported that the physical altercation escalated into an exchange of gunfire with these two groups this is quando rondo's group and king's vines group um they said that two police officers who were working at the particular club or lounge noticed the altercation and engaged some of the people involved there was an exchange of gunfire with police as well two of the people injured by the gunfire were stable friday morning and one was taken to a hospital in critical condition peak said investigators Investigators believe the person hit by the vehicle was involved in the initial dispute. The person was expected to survive. And it's not clear whether Vaughn was allegedly shot by the police or the rival, but police claim they shot the rapper. Um, the news comes after Vaughn, um, who had a very public beef with rival Famous Dex. He also allegedly had beef with NBA Youngboy and Quando Rondo's crew as well. Um, so what do you guys think about this whole situation? I want you guys to let me know down in my comment section below. Do not forget to like my videos, share my videos, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more royalty. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.